say we're back because I have a, a friend who decided she wanted to uh, crash the party. Say hi, Rain Baina. Say hi, Spaghetti Baina. Say hi. Hi. You're playing video game. Uh, if you wish to scale the heavens, set the four spirits aflame. Burn them! Alright, so we'll start with the water one. Little Broshina. Little Broshina. Our darling daughter decided she wanted to come downstairs with me, so here she is. I can't let you get down, though, because I know you'll get into stuff. So you gotta stay up here with Daddy. Don't do it! I forgot that I forgot that quick that the screen is touch screen. Don't reset that is gaming. Wait! One shot to kill. Wait, she still got the spirit surrounding her? She probably do something about that. Now she's yanking the mic. A boom ba ba. A boom ba ba. You ready to see Grandma? She's not here yet, but you looking forward to it? Raina, you are heavy. Did you know that? I was curious if you knew that you're heavy. Because, girl, you are heavy. I burp, burp, burp. A boom boom boom. A boom 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 boom. Where are you trying to go? You're trying to climb over my <laughs> She's trying to climb over my arm to get down. Blah. I'm blah. I'm boom blah. Blah. What you trying to do? Huh? What you trying to do? What you trying to do? You want to get on the floor? If I put you on the floor, that means I'm going to have to chase you around. And Daddy don't want to do that. Right? Daddy don't want to do that. A boo boo boo. A boo boo boo. A buck a buck a buck. What you doing? Don't pull that. Pull this out. See? You're supposed to grab one with one hand and the other one with the other. She, <laughs> she keeps flicking it away. Here, you want a toy? Here, let me turn it down. Giving Raina her first starter. What the heck is going on with my tongue down? You guys see that? What's up with that? I had to check my camera. It's very glowy. Yeah, that was weird. I gotta check to see if this thing's got filters. I don't think it should. Oh, it's got the green screen filter on this one, too. Why is it there? Yeah, this one shouldn't have had the green screen filter. It should have been this web camera that has the green screen filter. Oh, so it just applies it to the entirety of the webcam. I need to do a new uh, source for that then, so that it doesn't affect my regular cam. Yeah. 
She's like, get that thing out of my face! <laughs> She's like, get it out of my face! <laughs> you got your paper all showing? You don't want to be mooning the, my chat, man. Don't moon in the chat. They don't want to see all that. You got the message now, too. Eh. That's not real. So, people have been showing this weird, um, it's, it's a weird Nintendo Switch OLED that's been running around, um, on, uh, like, Reddit and whatnot that's apparently been leaked in China for Legend of Zelda, uh, Tears of the Kingdom. It's not real. <laughs> it's... Raina, will you stop for me? You really want to get down, don't you? Is that what you want to do? Is that what you want it? Look at her. Watch. Look at. Look. Look. She's gone. She. She could. She couldn't wait. Where are you going? Shay, give me a second. I want to make sure she gets back upstairs at least. She's now officially back upstairs. But yeah. There's been a lot of uh, stuff like, you know how people do. They see something and they completely run away with it. And it's, I hope not though, because that, that, honestly, I don't like the way that looks. That does not look good to me. Did they have one? No, they didn't. They did not have a special edition for Breath of the Wild. Remember, Breath of the Wild was Nintendo's launch game for the uh, Switch OLED. So yeah, there was no special edition for uh, Switch OLED. I mean, not Switch OLED, uh, Breath of the Wild. Unfortunately. Would have been nice though. But yeah, when Breath of the Wild came out, all they had was the neon Joy-Cons and the, uh, the gray Joy-Con switches. I gotta go this way. Not having frost on Mia actually kind of annoying.
All right, so we managed to get that connected. Now we go down and we gotta push, we gotta blow the fire so that we can make it through to the other side. Now, don't get me wrong, it's definitely possible that there could be real. I just personally don't think it is. Alerts. I'm trying to figure out what what's going on. I was like, is there some kind of emergency or something like that? Is that why my phone is being blown up right now? You guys can't hear it because I have it on mute because I figured the constant beeping of alerts and whatnot would get irritating for most everybody. I messed up. That's what I was supposed to do. Alright. Fire! Oh, it's too far away. Fire! Still too far away. Fire! There we go. So that thing is just shooting gas. Isn't that dangerous for me? Like, can't, can't, couldn't I die from that? I'm glad I don't have to find any more Jenny. Wait, let me see if there's a chest over here. No. It feels like there's a crap tons of, uh... It's like this lighthouse has four different areas. Alright, so would it be faster for me to just teleport back to the beginning and go up? Nah. It's probably better to just go this way. I still can't believe Jenna has over 1,000 HP though. I actually don't think we need to use Jenny on the last boss. I do know that the last boss has the Jenny, the Jenny stun thing, um, that evolves each time you take out a head. So I think at the last head it becomes Jenny Storm. But at that point we just swap the back for the front, right? Oh no, we keep Felix in, but we move the rest of the other two out for like Ivan and uh Isaac. door did we go through? I actually wasn't paying attention to the door. I just walked right and was like, boom. I probably should have went up, but I guess we can go up from here and then walk across. Uh, this is a blast room, right? Or I said a blast room. It's a burst room. Excuse me? That's been happening an awful lot, right? Where I'd cast burst and it wouldn't work even though it hit the target. I'll face to the side. Stupid camera angles. <laughs> Devil Frog! Game lied to me. Said I was facing forward. My character definitely looked like he was facing forward, but cast it sideways then. I gotta go the other way. 
days of the week. Oh, uh, facing forward this time, right? Okay, good. But I you sleep, whatever helps you sleep at night. I slept good last night. Um, I got off stream. I picked up the baby. Um, who was also asleep, so. Um, I got off stream, picked up the kid. Wait, I have to beat the clock, right? Um, then we came, I came home, we ate, all that fun stuff. And then later in the evening, um, I played Pokemon. Um, I did some raids with my, uh, terra Terrastal Raids, or Terra Raids for short, with my wife. Um, so that I could help her get her Cinderace. Um, I also got my own Cinderace. I got my Slow King, um, set up, um, for the Cinderace Raids. I'm gonna leave it like that until after the raids are done. As soon as Cinderace Raids end, I'm gonna change that Slow King back to what it should be. Uh, which is my Tanky Special Attacker. For competitive pay. Well, now you're jealous. Um, and then we slept. Well, we didn't get up until like eight something. The baby got up around six, and the wife grabbed her and brought her to the room. Um, and we thought she was gonna be wide awake. Um, but no, she crawled up in between us, and she was out. I was surprised. Like, it was around 6 o'clock, the wife said, Honey, the baby's in the bed with us. I'm like, okay. And then I remember falling back asleep, and then waking up, and next you know, it was already like two hours uh, later. I was like, the heck? I was like, I was not expecting that. And she was, um, when I woke up, she was underneath my, my arm. So, I had my, I basically had my arm around her side, and she was just curled up underneath my arm. I was like, when did she get here? And she was knocked out. So, I was like, well, she's sleeping so good, I don't want to wake up. So, let me try to get out of the bed. So, I tried to, you know, crawl out of the bed, and she rolled over and put her arm on me. I was like, so I pushed her back over, and then she sat up. Her eyes were still closed, and then she kind of, like, laid her head on me. I was like, I guess I'm not getting out the bed. <laughs> you only woke up twice last night before actually waking up, so you consider that a win. Yeah, hopefully it wasn't, your roommate wasn't being too loud, right? What kind of games is your roommate playing, by the way? For their stream, that is. A bit loud, but usually have trouble sleeping? Gotcha. So what you're saying is you don't blame it on your roommate. Okay, we gotta get rid of that. Can she restore spirits? No, she can't restore spirits. Okay, so what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to switch Sheba for Isaac. Salt. Never mind. I probably should defend it with everybody but Isaac. She's playing Sims at the moment. Was playing one of those horror and, um, anthology games earlier. You're not talking about like Dead by Daylight or anything like that, right? Also, that's probably going to be one of my uh, sub goals for. Uh, Subathon as well is playing Dead by Daylight. A game that I probably would never play usually. Dang, you're too strong. 
You think it's called Dark Pictures? Huh. Can't say I've ever heard of that. Oh, I see what I need to do. Try to one-shot me, I see. Wait, Piers is still dead? I did not realize Pierce was still dead. Lots of people you know uh, play Dead by Daylight, but it's too gruesome for you? Yeah, and that's why I don't play it. You okay? What was that? Sounds like somebody dying up there. Uh, I think he should be good, right? Yep. Yeah, we should be good now. Bam! Yeah, I'm not really big into scary stuff. Um, so if I can avoid scary stuff, I'm going to. Um, but I think that's particularly why I believe it's a good pick as a sub goal for a subathon. Just because I kind of feel like there have to be a few things that I would normally never do throw it into there to make it more interesting or, you know, spicy. I forgot Piers was dead and he had all this Jenny Jane. Oh, we got a Phoenix. A Swamp Ivan for Sheba. Megiddo! But I at the very least know I can tolerate D by DBD for just a little bit, but like something like Phasmophobia, y'all would jump scare me into a heart attack with that. I'm actually going to retreat for this one. You're fine with Phasmo? Those jump scares are. I tried watching somebody stream it. And I was scared out of my mind. I was jumping like, ooh. Because <laughs> I can't take sudden noises, you know, like balloon popping and all that kind of stuff. That stuff, it, it always makes me jump. I've, I've never really been a fan of loud noises to begin with, so. The horror part of the game is fine for you, but not the brutality. Gotcha. Yeah, it's the horror part of the game that that does uh, that gets me. I blame it on the the OG It movie. I think I may have watched that while I was too young, and it ruined scary things and cl uh, clowns for me. take that much damage considering you get hit by fire. I see. This is just the... 
took the wrong path shortcut. I say you're nothing compared to the Wonderbirds. You only play Phasmo for a couple hours, but the people I were playing um, with steamrolled it, so I didn't get uh, really get what was going on. Oh, so is Phasmo a multiplayer game then? I kind of had it on on the in the background while doing stuff like uh, RuneScape and uh, World of Warcraft. One of those co-op games I bought because people were playing it and said they'd play with me, but then nobody would play with me. <laughs> that sounds about right. That kind of sounds like Among Us. I bought Among Us because people are, are were like, yeah, we'll play with you, but then nobody ever wanted to play. Same, for Fall, same with Fall Guys, and I think that's why I stopped playing Fall Guys as much as I used to, because I used to play Fall Guys a lot. But then it, it it came to be the only people that would play with me would be my sister whenever she was able to get online. And that was about it. So I was like, it's one of those games that it's fun for a little bit, unless you're playing with a bunch of people, in which case it's infinitely more fun because you can do a bunch of silly stuff. But if you're just playing it by yourself for a long period of time, you just get bored. I used to play uh, Orphan of, of Time Rando. And got some people into it. Yeah, I need to start doing more randomizers of other games outside of just Pokemon. Then they formed their own group and didn't invite you to join them. At that point, that's when you uh, bring down the hammer. All right, shortcut. Oh wait. I'm gonna put sand on hotkey. Yeah, you stop talking to them. I mean, they brought it on themselves. It wasn't a one-time thing. Yeah, they, they brought it to themselves. Blaze! I'm only walking back here because it seems like it'd be relatively easy to get back. She thinks it's hilarious. Apparently my daughter's up there doing weird things again. She has this weird thing where she likes to take like her toys and other objects and whatnot. And she'll put them inside on her on her chair, because we got like her little uh, lounging chair for the living room. So she's not tall enough to get on the couch. So she'll put them she'll put the stuff in her lounging chair and then she'll sit on them. Um, there was one point where she was watching videos on my iPad, um, and then she just picks my iPad up and walks off, and I'm like, Ray, where are you going with my iPad? She takes it over to her chair, she sits it down on her chair, and then she sits on it. I'm like, girl, if you break my screen, <laughs> I'ma fight you. I was like, get your stinky paper off my, <laughs> my iPad. She does that with the TV remotes and stuff too, where she'll take them, put them in her chair, and then try to sit on them. I'm like, why? With the biggest smile on her face too. Oh, it's this kind of uh, wind puzzle. Well. Um, dang, what side do I need to go to? Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is going to be like. You go up and down, you gotta get keys and whatnot, and open up doors or something like that.
Gonna put Cyclone. Oh, I'm dead, aren't I? Ah! <laughs> My booty! Alright, so it was left, then right. Not right, then left. So it's left, left, then right. Bink! Who says we need Megido to beat you? All we need to do is hit you with anything. I don't know why, but I have this strong urge to play Legend of Dragoon. We'll probably be playing Legend of Dragoon in October of next year. It's usually when I play it. Um, I, I usually play it every other year, so we'll probably play it October of next year. We'll do a spotlight series on it. That's a long game to spotlight series, too. That's going to be a fun one. At some point, I need to redo all of my, uh, whatchamacallit videos, the, uh, Persona 5 Royal videos. Try to get them updated and move, um, to more current. So, eventually, we're gonna need to do a playthrough of that. So much to do. Never enough time to do it. Oh, yeah, we go right this time. Haha, you can't burn me this time, jerk. Megido! Doink. Interesting. I guess we have to go. Oh, it's a teleport thing. Oh, so yeah, I, I was always curious about that. So yeah, you do in fact need to do... Oh, that's because it's not a teleport thing. Okay. So now I'm curious if I had used Cyclone without using Reveal first, would it have worked? Good. That speeds things up. Hover boots! Should be the last one, right? Oh, snap! tricked me that was the last one set it ablaze But I do believe it's time for the final boss. But first, 20 minutes of RP. I'm probably over. I'm probably exa over exaggerating a little bit. It's probably only more like 10 minutes, but <laughs> just know it's gonna be a long RP. 
Doodle bug. The doodle bug. Doodle bug. Doodle bug. And on my screen. Gonna kill them all cause they look so ugly. Doodle bug. We don't like them. They look so bad because they're bugs. Oh yeah. We don't like bugs. In this household, no, we don't. You have proven your worth. The heavens await you. Oh, oh. Alright, let's put Mind Reader back on our quick thing because, yes, we gotta start this adventure. We gotta end this adventure the way it started, right? Mind Reader and move. Alright, let's save. And create a restore point. You guys ready for the end game? Betrayers, you have arrived. Who said that? The wind's too strong, I can't see anything. I heard it too, but I don't see anyone else up here. Felix, quick, cast a Marstar into the cast a Marstar in before anything can has a chance to stop us. So, you're still intent on lighting the beacon of Mars Lighthouse. Who said that? Have you forgotten me so soon, Isaac? And you, Garrett? It seems to know you, Isaac. Do you have any idea what it is? Then search your heart, boy. That voice. It's the wise one. Isaac, since when are you on a first name basis with the wise one? It must have been Isaac. What happened in Soul Sanctum after we were kidnapped? When Satros and Minority stole the elemental stars, they also triggered a volcanic eruption. The wise one prevented Mount Al from erupting so that Garrett and I could escape. But wait, Mount Al did erupt. There was a huge explosion. We saw it all the way in vault. But it would have erupted with us still inside. There was no way we could have escaped in time. The wise one held off the eruption until we could escape. He even halted the lava flow. I can't believe it. Nobody has enough power to do that. I know it sounds weird, but I was there and it happened. So you just have to believe us. If we could do all that, this wise one seems more like a god than an adept. I did not just save you, I also tasked you with recovering the four elemental stars. Why have you disobeyed my command? Why have you come to light the beacon? Because Prox will be destroyed if we don't. We can't let that happen. Prox, they have brought this disaster upon themselves. Are you saying we should just abandon them to die? What did they do to deserve that? The people of Prox have committed an unforgivable sin. They must pay the price. For lighting the lighthouses? Is that their sin? Does that warrant total destruction? If we don't like the beacon, Gaia Falls will eventually erode away all of Weird. We have fought for so long to, have, to save all the people of our world, and now you will stop us? Gaia Falls is growing. It's consuming more and more with each passing day. How can you just allow the world to crumble into nothingness? The seal needs to be broken. The world will be destroyed if it's not. You have learned far too much. Wise one, you can't continue to protect the lighthouses. You know what happened. You know what's happening. It is your duty to protect all of Wayard. If Wayard is destroyed, you will have failed us all. Why would you answer us, wise one? If alchemy is unleashed, I mean, if alchemy is unleashed, what? A mankind will may well destroy all of Wayard itself. But we can't combine. But we can combine our strengths, ensure that alchemy not be used for evil. It is inevitable. In time, one man will seek to rule over all. It is human nature. Inescapable. And it shall come sooner than any of you think. Why do you, why do you say that? The water adept who climbs toward the peak of Mount Alf, even as we speak. He, is he not a friend of yours? Alex is his name. Surely you have not forgotten him. Alex? What would he be doing on Mount Alf? He understands far more than you do. 
he knows that when the four beacons have been lit, their light will gather at Soul Sanctum. But what would he gain from being there? When the final beam of light reaches the peak of Mount Alf, the Golden Sun shall rise. The Golden Sun? What is that? And what would Alex want with it? When the four beams merge into one, they form a golden light bathing Mount Alf's peak. Is... is that alchemy? I mean, pure alchemy made real at the heart of its power? And that's the light they give Sage to the Stone of Sages? It has been, uh, this has been Alex's one true desire from the very start. Alex planned all of this? Then he must have been after this power all along. We've been duped. He used us all. Oh, you'd better believe he's not getting away with this. Alex, how could he do this? He's one of my own people. I feel sick, disgusted. None of that matters right now. We still have to light the beacon. We don't have any choice. If we don't do it now, Prox will be destroyed. Felix, we have to, right? Yep. You bet we do. The wise one will have to deal with Alex on his own. Can I cannot interfere in the actions of mankind. If you can't interfere, then how about getting out of our way so we can light the beacon, huh? Ooh, good one, Jenna. I don't like doing exactly what Alex wants, but it's looking like we got no choice. Don't worry, Felix. Just throw the Mars Star into the beacon. Um, the beacon's well. Now... Wise one, didn't you just say that you aren't allowed to interfere with our actions? That is correct. I cannot stop you. But what if some miracle were to occur? One that prevented you from lighting the beacons, or igniting the beacon. Miracle? What are you talking about? What kind of miracle? If you can defeat a miracle, only then can you ignite the beacon's flame. The wise one's up to something. Be wary, everyone. We don't know what he's capable of. A three-headed dragon? That's your miracle? <laughs> so you would have us fight for our future? Fine then, fight we shall. What's the? What's he thinking? We already beat a two-headed dragon. How much tougher can this one be? I don't care about um, how many heads it has. Nothing's going to stop us now. Nothing's going to stop us. Nothing's going to stop us. Nothing's going to stop us now. Ba -do 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 -do. <laughs> Nothing's going to stop us. Let's do it for Brox, for the future of Weird. Wait a second, wasn't that two-headed dragon actually? So that means this three-headed dragon must be... Felix, no, you mustn't fight that dragon. It's too late, Craden. We can't get away from it now. Felix, don't. Stop. I like how Craden's the only one who realized. Yet another banger from Golden Sun series in terms of music. Dragon has appeared. Uh, you know what? We don't actually need Sheba to be active right now, so let's go ahead and swap around for Isaac, right? This way we can get the most out of our, our, you know, physical damage. Megiddo! Have a giant rock! Yoink! And now for... Oh, I was about to say Megiddo the second! Okay, so yeah. It's got the one where it jains all of somebody's gin, and then the one that... Uh, I guess as you destroy more heads, it gains the ability to drain everybody's gin.
I'm gonna do kite on her. Do that. Uh, we're gonna use Edie. Um, and then we're gonna have her. I guess we could go with the wish well, right? Looks cool. Yo, okay, you can just stop attacking now. <laughs> um. Oh, no, Pyroclasm hits everybody too. Uh, let's see if we can do HB Drain on him. On I was trying to see if it let me use it again. Maybe I can get an Iris off. How do you summon Iris again? Four Mercury. Se uh, four Mercury nine. I don't have nine Mar uh, Mars out, do I? Yeah, I don't have nine Mars out. I would have to switch. So what would be the benefit in using Iris right now, though? <laughs> it looks cool. <laughs> kind of hoping for something more substantial. <laughs> it looks cool. Hey, Raffi, how's it going? Uh, so we'll use Flash. Um, she can't really do anything right now, right? So I think we just a basic attack, right? Um, we set this back. Does a ton of damage, full heals everyone. But for me to do it, I would need to swap out probably Sheba. And bring in what? Isaac? I think it's Isaac, right? do that we can do it just for just for playthrough purposes we'll do it catastrophe is much more reasonable to summon you're probably right but yeah happy new year's eve to you um Rafi. how you doing And Catastrophe is... But we've already seen Catastrophe, right? And we've seen Charon. I kind of feel like we should do Irish just for the sake of seeing it. Right? Just to say we did it, right? We'll use Torch. Uh, let's go Planet Diver. Actually, no, Rising Dragon's probably stronger. Let's use... Kindle. Um, we don't really have much damage. Right now, so... Oh, no, this isn't gonna work. Yeah, my, my gen setup might not be use for that um yeah I would need to move Jenna back to the back for Isaac because I forgot Sheba has all the mercury Jenny for the most part all right torch uh candle um, 
Let's see. We'll go with Shade. Do I use Mold? I'll use Petra. We know that the uh, the Mars gens will build up quickly. We use Ember. Forge. Uh, Spritz. And you know what? We'll use Mel too. We'll cast an Earth one as well. that damage all right so we need what four more Mars and two more mercury wait do I have salt I need to use salt again uh, let's use scorch salt again because we need it I mean, I guess if we summon, if we summon, what's from recall, Iris, it gets rid of all the status effects too, right? Spooky friend! Alright? If we end up summoning Iris, it'll get rid of status conditions, right? Alright, we'll use Fever. Um, let's go with, we'll use Balm just to get it out of the way. Does it also heal the bench? Doom Dragon, stop hitting yourself. Oh, that's cool. Why can't I blast breath? It can't move, so does it stop him from moving for a turn? Uh, physical attack. Um, I need two more turns with him. Let's use Fury. We'll use Edie. For no reason. Uh, we'll use Crystal for healing. Giant Rock Smash! We gotta do it before <laughs> he gin blasts me and I get sad. Why did he defend? That's weird. Ow! More gravel. Okay, so... Yeah, we want to make sure we have the Mars and the uh, Mercury. I mean, not Mars. Yeah, Mars and Mercury. Alright, another physical attack. Um, he's got to use Cannon this time. Um... We'll have her use. We'll have her summon. Look at all these things I can potentially summon. But we're not. Uh, we'll just do judgment, right? You are now being judged. I'm going to haze on Isaac so that... Hopefully he gets tar doesn't get gin blasted. Or if he does, he won't get affected by it. Cannon head fire! Ryu, what's up, buddy? Happy New Year's Eve to you. Welcome on back in. How you feeling? Oh, and this welcome noise is for Ryu as well as Rafi. <laughs> Double Megino, you know, yes. We're gonna we're gonna milk it for as much as we can. They just 
just use Earthquake on me? I'm laughing. Alright, so now the question is, who should I have summoned this? You know what? I'm gonna do it from him. Meanwhile, you sir, just use another Megita. Um, honestly? Use Wild Growth? No, just attack. Um... I guess you don't need to heal since that's going to happen automatically, so you can just use high impact. Alright. For the books, chat, for the books. What have I got in the second Soul Blade? Shh, it's a secret. Wait, did she just send him into the sun? Wait, did we just blow up the sun? I'm sorry, I could have done that much damage just by using Megiddo and power up moves. <laughs> Alright, round two. Fight! Oh, it doesn't get rid of status effects? Oh, that's unfortunate. I thought for certain it was going to. That is sadness. Sadness incarnate. Well, hopefully I can uh, I can keep her from dying. No status heal, but it does revive. That's fine. Oh no! Well, that's unfortunate. Unfortunately, she died after the iris. I like the way this looks, too. Bah! You guys remember how she was alive? One second. Yeah, it didn't last too long. Um, I do have Tinder, though, so that's fine. Um, and then I have her Pure Wish. Oh, okay. They gained the Guard Aura. I still did a lot of damage, all things considered. It's a Tinder moment! Alright, we're gonna switch Shiva out now. For Jenna. And we are going to just attack. Uh basic attack. Jenna will summon uh Magira. And you know what? Mia will use Jupiter, because why not? The beacon is lit. Gondor calls for aid. Pure Wish is way too strong. Yep. It's not Golden Sun Boss if Ivan and Sheba don't die. But, to be fair, Sheba only died due to my negligence, right? If I had just salted earlier like I was intended to, I would have saved her from dying. But I thought for certain Iris would heal status conditions, and it did not. And so she would die for it. So I, I only have myself to blame for that, right? I can blame no one other than myself for Sheba's untimely death. Oh, good. We have that back now. Um, I'm going to do that, but I'm pretty sure everybody's good in that front, so I don't think it matters. Um, we use Petra. 
So I'm gonna distract. Everybody has mech, uh, has had max attack for a while. Really? Uh, Felix is max, Isaac's max, Jen is not maxed, me- oh, you're right, dang. <laughs> when did that happen? When did that happen? So then I just need to use Demon Spare on herself. We'll use ground to stop him in his tracks. And you know what? We'll have her use crystal to heal. Giant rock smash! Like Giant rock the second! <laughs> Giant rocks away. 840? Inferno! Inferno's the highest level of that, right? It's what? Fire, Fireball, Inferno, or something like that? Let's see, if I were to summon somebody using... I need four Mars, though. Or for Mercury. Because I'm in Charon. I'm not doing that. We're just going to summon Judgment and call it a day. Uh, you attack. Um, I'm going to have her summon Judgment just because she seems to do really good when it comes to uh, summon damage. Giant Rock! That second hit is dying this turn. I, can, I almost guarantee it. Told you. Unfortunately, it stopped the entire turn, but you know. I'm still gonna have her wish well. Giant Rock! This is so much easier than Dulan. Right? Compared to Dulan, this attack is taking like what? I mean, this fight is taking like what? Half an hour? Probably less than that, because I think most of it was just RP. Attack. Attack. Uh, you know what? I want to see what she does with Death Leap, so we'll do that. Oh, actually, no. Let's use Annihilate, because we got the uh, boost from um, Judgment. Your wish. For this one, you just clap some cheeks. Yep. It took us three hours, essentially, to defeat Dulahan. 429 with that, by the way. She literally just did 429 with that. What does that do? Why does he keep trying to use it? It didn't help that you were basically barely staying afloat for an hour or two. Exactly. Oh, our flush is just ground. Oh, so it doesn't work if I moved before them. That's unfortunate for them. You know, not having priority agility. You know, I never did... Ooh, let's do Skull Splitter. Uh, and, you know, more pure wish, because why not? Oh, it's dead. I feel like the first hit took the longest to take down. Then the rest of them were just like... <laughs> that moment when you realize you just killed your parents. GG! That moment when you realize you just killed your parents. Let's -a go. Who are they? Uh, that's what I was trying to warn you about. 
It wasn't just the dragon you killed. I remember you warning us, but I was it was too late for us to stop. Craig, what do you know? Why were you trying to stop us from fighting the dragon? It was the wise one's final trap. Trap? What do you mean? The wise one knew he couldn't stop you, so he played a cruel wretched trick on you instead. Craig, I don't understand. Would you? We, um, what are you trying to tell us? See, but let's just see who those people are while they um try to sort this out. No, Jenna, don't look. You mustn't look. It will only bring you pain. What are you talking about, Craig? They can't hurt us anymore. We'll just... What's the matter, Jenna? It can't be. How? How? What is it, Isaac? Isaac? I, I know that guy. That's your father. Then does that mean the other two are... Mom, Dad, I'll heal. I'll heal Jenna's qu um, parents quickly. Mia, tend to the um, Isaac's father. I mean, technically, Ivan can help too if he wanted. He has wish well, right? He can help them all. Thank you, thank you. If only I, if only, if only I'd realized it sooner. I mean, you realized it about as fast as you possibly could. Get all things considered. I mean, you had like a split second between the dragon landing and we starting the fight. And you realized it as soon as the dragon had landed. But we were already, you know, surrounding it and swinging swords. So, I mean, we can't blame this on you. It, it was, it was, yeah, we jumped the gun. We, we probably could have waited. Just played defense. What's the matter, Piers? Why did you stop? Jenna's parents need you. Don't give up, Mia. You can't. You have to save them. It's no use, Ivan. I'm tapped. I am too, and even if I weren't, it's just too late. What are you saying? They're not. They can't be. That's not what I'm saying, Jenna. I... I finally found them. I was going to be with them again for the first time in years. Jenna. Please. It can't be. Mom. Wake up! It's me! It's Jenna! Don't leave me! Jenna, you must prepare yourself for what comes next. Being transformed into a dragon, fighting in that form, this requires tremendous power. What are you saying, Craddon? In fighting you, your parents were forced to use every last ounce of their energy. They don't have the strength to. Even if they had won the battle, they would not have survived. You cannot blame yourself. Wow, so they would have died either way? That's, that is grimy. <laughs> it was like, I will transform your parents and you will fight them. If you win, your parents will die. If you lose, you will die and so will your parents. Okay. You monster! Why did you do this? Why did you make us fight Jenna's parents? You're no god. You're not even, you're no protector. You're evil. You don't understand the pain you have caused, wise one. You have no idea the damage done to a child who learns she has destroyed her own parents. And you screaming it out loud is making it better. <laughs> That's enough. I knew what I was doing the moment I raised my sword. We, defe um, we defied the wise one in order to save the world. Our parents would have understood. Don't you think, Valix? If you win, you get separated from your parents forever. If you lose, you get a family reunion on the other side. I mean, I guess if you think about it that way, no, that's still bad. <laughs> You're right. It hurts, but it's true. We didn't do this for ourselves. We did it for all of Wayard. We still have a chance to save Prox. Perhaps we can't save your parents, but we can save countless others. Kyle and the others saved them too. They sacrificed their lives so that we could go on. I never imagined that my actions will help save the world. Even though lighting the beacon will create wars and strife, I regret none of this. There's little time left, Felix. Use the Monstar and light the beacon. Can I talk to people, though? I wish I could console you somehow. It must be tough. I just wish I had one last chance to have some of Felix's mother's cookies. <coughs> Felix, you made it back alive. Please, I must ask one last thing. Tell Dora to live her life to the fullest for me. Assuming she's not still back at home sick. I don't know my parents. They might be alive somewhere out there, but I share your pain. 
Felix, Jenna, I'm so happy to have one last chance to see you again. In the end. Wait, can I talk? Speak to the mom? Oh, there we go. Felix, I can't see you, but I sense that you're nearby. Please take care of Jenna for us. I thought I'd get to see my parents again. I thought I'd get to hold them again. But instead, we were forced to destroy them. I mad she says it like that, though. Why does she say it like that? You are forced to destroy them. Why is Felix's dad is hanging over the edge? Lucky for them, we are on Mars Lighthouse. So they get their powers back. Woo! The beacon is lit. And to think, I joined this quest hoping to prevent exactly this from happening. And I began this quest as a prisoner, taken against my will. And if that tidal wave hadn't sent me far off course, I wouldn't even be here now. How many lives have been taken and changed forever just to light this beacon? Mom, Dad, where are you safe now? You're right, I hear voices too. I told you, I told you I could hear them. Who said that? Where are you? We're in the mill. We're at the base of Mercury Lighthouse. You. You can't be. Hey, I know that voice. It's Mia. It ju I just know it. Mia! It's you? Of course it's us. We can hear you, Mia. You're alright. I'm so happy. Who are, the kids? Um, who are those two kids talking to? I don't know. They've been standing here telling everyone to leave the lighthouse. Weird. We're a couple of kids, if you ask me. <laughs> How is that we can hear you? I don't know, but he told us we were um, we would be able to talk to you if we came here now. He? Who's he? I don't know. We were sleeping, and he came to us in a dream. He said, go to the lighthouse. The lighthouse? Why? He said that we have to deliver a message. He was too busy to do it himself. What message? We have to warn everyone to stay clear of the lighthouses. What's going to happen? I don't know, but he told us to warn people away from Mount Elf as well. But who is he? You still haven't told us. You're a meanie. I don't tell meanies anything. <laughs> don't pay any attention to him. It's me, Mia. Can you tell me who spoke to you? I told you, I don't know. But he looked like a big rock with a big rocky eye. The, the wise one. What could he be doing? Of course, I understand. The wise one said that when all four lighthouses have been lit, the golden sun would shine. When that happens, Mount Elf and the White Houses will probably become quite dangerous. So the wise one is warning people in dreams, telling them to seek refuge? Why would he do that? You saw what he did to us. He can't be up to anything good. Have you not learned one's actions do not always reveal one's true intentions? Sister. Master Hamma, did you receive a message too? Yes, I was called to Jupiter Lighthouse, in a dream. You have completed your quest, but I see it comes with great loss. Your suffering has been almost unbearable. It's amazing how the wise one actually had foresight. Excuse me. Sorry. Excuse me. Hey, all sneezes come in pairs of three. I think that was more like four, right? Thank you. <laughs> it came out of nowhere, too. I had to blow my nose real quick. I'm going to move far away from the, the mic so that you guys don't hear it too bad. Her videos. Ridiculous! How's it going? Yeah, move away could be contagious. How's it going, ridiculous? It's been a while. I haven't seen your name in chat in quite some time. How you been feeling? How's life been treating you? Master Hammer, my parents. I know Jenna, and I'm sorry, but do not give up hope for them just yet. What do you mean, Master Hammer? Appearances can be an illusion. The wise one has a caring heart. He forced us to fight Isaac and Jenna's parents. What's so caring about that? 
the wise one were truly evil, he would not be warning me of danger in my dreams. Well, I, I guess not, but then what's he up to? It's been a real long I know, right? How you been? We do not know. We do not have time to discuss it right now. Uh, I'm talking about the, the dialogue and not you. We can discuss whatever you want to discuss. <laughs> Sorry, that was a really weird time to, to say that out, right? Not too bad. How have I been? I've been great. I had my daughter. Um, me and my wife have been living a great life so far um, in our new house. Um, we've been here about three years, though, so, you know, not that new, but... <laughs> Um, I'm pursuing a new uh, field of uh, study as well as new field for job um, in terms of work. Um, I've been, my sh the channel's been growing. Your daughter just turned one on the 17th. Congratulations. My daughter turned one October 4th. So she's, what, she'll be, what, 16 months in like three days? Four days? Yeah, 12, 13, 14 would be December. Yeah, 15 months in four days. 15. Last year you did a career change? Yeah, I'm, I did one two weeks ago. Um, I'm focusing on IT. I've been doing some IT work since last year. But this year, like this right now is when I'm actually focusing hard on it. And I'm just moving away. Um, I didn't want to put... I wasn't focusing too hard before because I still had faith that my other job would come through for me. Um, it's because it's been so long. It's been nine years. You know, I, I had faith that my other job would come through for me and all the work that I put into my other job would finally pay off. And then they slapped me in the face and said no. So I was like, okay, yeah, it's time to do something new. I, I can't sit here and stagnate, uh, sit here stagnant for any longer. I, I'm, I'm dying. I'm, I'm literally going crazy and insane right now. So yeah, we, we made that career change. We're going straight to IT now, so... Your company is always hiring? You work for an IT healthcare company? If you don't mind me asking, where are you located? I am located in the DMV. I don't know if you know what that is. Um, it stands for uh, District of uh, Columbia, Maryland, and Virginia. You work remote? Um, I live in Maryland. Um, I'm looking for anything. Um, I'm still new to IT though, so I will need training and all that kind of stuff. But I'm, I'm also working on getting my my you know CompTIA A plus certifications and whatnot. Um, it's just it's time. I've never really been good with book study, so trying to get the book study in for it um, can be a bit rough. Um, I'm planning on taking help desk technician courses. Um, I think the next time courses are available for my local college for help desk technician is the end of January. Uh, so then um, that's when I'll start going back to school um, to take some courses. These are paid uh, paid courses. Uh, no no like uh, financial aid and stuff needed. So it's like I think for all the entirety of the course it's like 800 and something dollars. Which is honestly not that bad because um, it includes all the labs and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to do that towards the end of January um, and get my help desk certification and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, just trying to uh, get my, my foot in the door. It is easy. Just tell them user mistake. Unplug and plug in again. <laughs> let me send you a link, please. Oh, let me, uh, let me give you the, the permission real quick. Boop, there you go. You can send it this way or you can send it directly to my, uh, my, uh, you can also send it, yeah, I have Discord or you can send it to my Twitch, uh, inbox if you want. Now that's the, the Broshi Family Discord. Now if you want to find me directly, you'll see me in there. You can just right click on me. Uh, if the wise one said that it's not safe to be near the lighthouses, then I think we should listen. I'm heading for safety, too. All of you must get away from the lighthouses now. Hurry, everyone, let's go. What about our parents? We can't leave them behind. I understand how you feel, but we won't make it if we have to take them with us. Make the decision, Felix. Should we take them with us? Yes. 
I like how we didn't even have a chance to even think about it because it already became dangerous. Too dangerous. The golden sun is forming. A ray of light is emanating from the beacon from the large star. What will happen? The power of alchemy will be unleashed upon the world. We must take Isaac's father and Jenna's parents and flee. Stop it! Let go of my wrist! Garrett, get a grip. No one's touching you. I'm serious. I... The beacon. Jenna, move... Um, we have to move your parents. Mom, Dad, what's happening? There's no time for questions. Just carry them and carry them and go. You're in a group voice. If you want to join, quick. Oh, you're. In, are you in the league room? Yep, that's you. Why are you in a league room? <laughs> Throw the parents off the edge of the lighthouse. We covered them at the bottom. Um, if you don't mind waiting till we get to the credits part, uh, just so that I don't have to try to read this over listening to you talk. Uh, thank you, Felix, and you too, Isaac, and Craden. By igniting Mars Lighthouse, you stopped Gaia Falls from devouring our town. We're just glad to have helped save Wayard. You've been thrown, um, you've been through many trials, more than any of us um, ever know. We had no idea what to, we had no idea what to expect when, the, when we lit the final beacon. When we saw the flash, I mean, when we saw the flash of the, um, of the beacon, we had no idea what you suffered to light it. I thought we were done for. There was no way we could escape with our parents' bodies. Well, at least not if we hadn't pulled together and overcome our sorrows. That light was brilliant. You know, I shall always regret that I didn't get to look upon the beacon's light from afar. I understand your regret. As a scholar of alchemy, you would have been most impressed. I saw the beams of blue, red, and purple streaming out toward the southeast. That's the direction in which Vale lies, is it not? Was the light headed to your hometown? Indeed it was. The wise one said that beams were going to merge into one above Mount Alf. Didn't Mount Alf get, I uh, mean, not Mount Alf, Vale get destroyed? The orb of golden light we saw, that was shining directly over Vale? Yes, that was the golden sun, forming over Mount Alf. If I remember the tales correctly, the golden sun is the blast of light emitted at the very moment the Stone of Sages forms. Such legends as this even here? I wish that I'd known that sooner. I fear for Vale, to think that all this energy is being released right over your hometown. We're all worried about that. We're hoping we can return to Vale as quickly as possible. Oh, is there nothing we can do to convince you to stay? We had hoped you might stay in Prox a while, but that sounds unlikely. Don't worry, we plan on returning as soon as things quiet down, don't we? Our village will not soon forget that you saved us from the edge of destruction. Do visit us again. When that time, when that time comes, I may no longer be in this world. Don't say such things. I'm sure a long life awaits you. Well, I suppose we should be departing for Vale soon. You're right, Craden. If we don't, you know who might start causing trouble. At least some of your cares have been re remedied. You must be glad to know we bought all three from um, the brink of death. I would not have been um, thought it possible had I not seen it. Even I do not fully understand it. But there, there can be no doubt. The fire's energy released by the beacon rekindled their spirits. I hadn't expected so much energy to be released by the lighthouse's beam. I have no real explanation other than that their life force has not been fully extinguished. It was a miracle, but the fire's energy seems to have recharged them somehow. And had your parents not been adepts, the wave of synergy would have passed them um, passed them by. Isaac, what's taking you two so long? Don't keep me waiting. Uh oh, Je it's Jenna. We're late, and she looks rather displeased with us. Should I let her know we're leaving now? I'm sorry, we're almost done. Can you wait for us at the village gate with the others? I'm serious. If I have to wait much longer, you're not going to be happy. Wow. She's going to be a handful when they get married, right? They have no patience whatsoever. Ah, well, I suppose it's time to leave. <laughs> May your journey home be a safe and uneventful one. We should never forget what you have done for Prox. Cannot save here. That makes sense. You did an amazing job, and you accomplished what Argito and Kars could not. Imagine being turned to another... Dragon. What took you so long? Mom and Dad are tired of waiting for you. 
That's not true, Felix. You take as long as you need to say farewell to the people of Rox. Don't worry about us, Felix. Um, so is that Puelli? Is it Puel? I think it's called Puel, right? Puel and the others took good care of us. Don't tell them that. We'll never, um, we'll be stuck here forever. You look like you're feeling back to your old self, Jenna. You were, you were weeping such mournful tears after the battle. What? As if. You can't prove anything. Go easy on her. You have to remember, she thought that both of her parents had died. Oh, were you crying, Jenna? No, I said I wasn't. Now, um, now you got me thinking about my family. I didn't think I'd miss them this much. I only hope that they're all safe back in Vale. I just want to be home again. I want to see how um, my mother is doing. I'm still curious. Who the heck did Ivan have a kid with? Like, his daughter's hair is like greenish, right? Like, was it ever stated who Ivan had a kid with? Don't worry, son. I'm sure Doris is doing fine. She's a strong woman. But last time I saw her, she looked so sick, so weak. Even if nothing happened to Vel, I'm still worried. Don't worry, Isaac. I'm sure she's in wonderful shape. I think she'll be surprised to see me. Sorry to keep all um, you all waiting. At last, the time has come for us to return to Vel. As soon as we leave Prox, we'll head um, toward Engara and from there to Vale. I can't wait to see this winged ship of yours. It sounds so incredible. I remember so little of our trip to Prox. This is really my first voyage um, on a ship. I've heard that the wind and waves make the boat rock. I hope I don't get sick. This ancient ship of ours actually flies above the ocean. It's quite a cozy ride. It looks like you've, um, we've got an exciting last ship ahead of us, doesn't it? Wow. Setting out like this takes me back to our own quest start. It was so long ago. If you keep talking like this, we'll never get any, um, go anywhere. Let's go, Felix. Jenna is extremely pushy. What's the matter, boys? Are you reluctant to depart? No. After all that we've been through, you can't possibly be nervous about this small trip. I just hope that Vale came out of this in as good a condition as Prox did. We won't know until we get there. I can't stop thinking about how my parents are doing. Were the both of them in Vale? Can't you make a guess, Kratten? Will Vale still be standing when we arrive? Not even I can know that. I can see it in, I can see it in your eyes, Kratten. You think something's happened, don't you? It's a possibility, one that cannot be ignored. And it's not um it's not there. Um if it's not there, then what's the point of even going back? Is that really how you feel about um Isaac? What about you, Felix? No. You remember, don't you, Felix? Think about it for a moment, Isaac. What do you mean? Our conversation with Hannah. Why are we still talking? <laughs> don't you remember us talking to the children from Emil at the base of the Murky Lighthouse? When they were warning people away from the lighthouse. Yes, the wise one, wise one instructed everyone to seek refuge. Yeah, so what about it? You still don't see, Garrett? Even if Vale were destroyed, I'd expect that the villagers have all escaped to safety. I guess that's true. They might still be all right. That's true. So whatever happens, my family's alive. I've forgotten about that. Thanks, Crichton. Garrett, can you make sure everyone else knows that? Okay, let's... Let's go, the both of you. We have to catch up to everyone. Crichton, why did the wise one change our parents to a dragon? Why did he make us fight them? I mean, we almost killed them. He tried to make us kill our own parents. Why? Do you think that he intended you uh, for them to die from the start? Nah. Ah, you don't understand why he put you through all this if he knew they'd um, survive? We cannot hope to fathom the motives of a being as all-powerful as the wise one. You don't know either, Crichton. I can only hazard a guess. The wise one wanted to test you. What do you mean, test us? I cannot tell you more. It is up to you to find the answer. We will use alchemy to wage war. Uh, will we use alchemy to wage war to raise armies? Or will we use um, it to grow wise and rise above our petty feuds? Perform great deeds. You are willing to sacrifice everything for your quest. I'd say you've risen to that challenge. Oops. Is, is everyone else that far ahead of us? We better hurry and catch up to the others before they leave us behind. After all, I'm not terribly interested in trying to walk all the way back to Vale. If you feel the same, then we'd better be hurrying. Isaac, Felix, we're off. Oh! 
And there you go, chat. Golden Sun, The Lost Age. Finished in time, which means Tuesday, not Tuesday, Thursday of next week will be the start of Golden Sun Dark Dawn. Um, we will be playing through that game. We have a lot of questions about that game that have never been answered yet. Um, why can't we see Jenna? Even though we know that Jenna and Isaac got married and had a kid named Matthew. Who the heck married uh, Garrett? Or, I mean, who the heck is crazy enough to marry Garrett and have a kid with him? Who married Ivan? Or who did Ivan have a kid with? And why don't we know? Uh, who did Mia have a kid, um, kids with? And why don't we know? All these questions that we have. As for this game, what would have happened had this entire thing never happened? Would Satros, uh, Satros, Minardi, uh, Akito, and Karst be good guys or would they still be bad uh, kind of bad people right I'd like to think that uh, circumstances are what made them seem like bad people but they probably weren't bad people overall at least in the end Carson Agito didn't seem like bad people they just were, were extremely worried about their hometown um I'd like to think that car uh, so, uh, Satros and Minardi were the same, but they're just concerned about their hometown. Right? Um. Hey, I'm here, but uh, give me a second. I want to grab something. Put my fire on the floor. So, yeah. We have the actual physical disc for the game. Unfortunately, because I don't have the the piece for the system, um, I can't play this one. I have to download the emulator, which is unfortunate, but it also means we have a chance of playing mods and whatnot, right? So it's not all that bad. But yeah, so what's up, uh, ridiculous? I love that. Uh, I love your uh, your little logo thing. For your avatar. Also, if you're talking, I can't hear you. <laughs> uh, but yeah, up next we have Mario Party Superstars, everybody. We're going to take a quick break uh, so that I can check on my family upstairs. Um, and yeah, we'll jump into some Mario Party. Um, if any of you in chat would like to play, let me know. Um, there are, of course, three spots open. Super low fire Discord? Weird. Okay, uh, give me a second to check that out. It's possible that my voice and video got, yeah, it got defaulted. It keeps doing that, and it's really weird that it does that. Okay. La 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 Okay, does that sound any better? Let me know if that sounds any better. I can't hear you, no. I see that you're talking because the screen's lighting up, but I, I can't hear you. Let me see if I can change my output device. Anything? Uh, there we go. Oh. I, Could have been I, I maybe I changed my output device off of uh, default back to headphones. I don't know. Oh, okay. It changed it all to default again. And whenever I restart my computer, it changes my settings on Discord all back to default for my voice and whatnot. I hate it. So, uh, yep. Let's see here. Give me a second to. I'm gonna mute just for a second so I can finish reading this off, and so we can end the yeah, the, the Golden Sun game. At last, I have it. Eternal life, limitless power. 
At last the power of nature is mine to control as I will. Rise, storms, rise up and unleash your might upon Vel in the footholds of Mount Alf. Uh, that's odd. I should have limitless power, so why can't I call up a simple storm? And then a giant flowing eyeball just pops out of nowhere. Uh, who? Who are you? I am called the Wise One. The Wise One? Vale's Protector? You wish to have limitless power? Wish to? I just got it. No, your power is nearly limitless, but it has boundaries. Nearly limitless? You speak in riddles. Can't you see any the power is mine? Yes, you also have nearly endless life. And your synergy is somewhat stronger. If you are trying to anger me, I ha um, have a little taste of exactly how much power I have attained. He's pushing a rock. Look at me. My body is brimming with power. <laughs> then the rock pushed you back. How? What's going on? I should be all powerful. I can't defeat me. Doink! You are not all powerful, Alex. Your power has its limits, as does your life. That cannot be. Who is responsible for this treachery? Who has robbed me of my dream? I, the wise one, imbued the Mars Star with some of the power from, of the forming Golden Sun. It rests even now in the hands of young Isaac. Why? The heavens and earth are changing, Alex. You must flee, now. What? What? Mount Elf will soon be drawn into the earth of um, the heart of the earth. You must flee or join it forever. Flee? I can't flee. I can't even move. Ah, uh, yes. You now see the limits of your power. If you are swallowed by the earth, you may not survive. If you survive, perhaps we shall meet again someday. <laughs> He's like, bam, slams him on the ground. All right, Alex, you must flee or you will die. I can't move. Oh, that's right. I hurt you. Yeah. Well, see you later if you survive. Bye. Finally, we've reached Fail. What's the matter, Garrett? You're finally home again. Aren't you happy? Garrett? Um, Garrett's just worried about what happened to everyone in Vale. So it's just over that hill? I can't wait to see what your hometown looks like. A giant pile of rubble. It's beautiful. I'm sure you will like it, Pierce. I'm just going to close my eyes. Someone tell me if I, it's alright to open them. Me too. Would someone else see how things are? I'll go. Come with me, Felix. How's it look, Isaac? I'm almost there. It... it can't be. What is it, Isaac? Felix, say something. I, uh, wait. I, uh, Felix is talking again. He's no longer a mute. He can speak. Words can flow out of his mouth. I'm sorry, Jenna, but Vale, Mount Elf, they're gone. What? This, this is terrible. Is that Mount Elf? Mom, Tora, Mom, Dad, Isaac, Garrett, what can I do? What can I say to comfort you? Yep, because somehow she has her family back, but we lose ours. They're here somewhere. They have to be here. What can we do? How can we help them now? I don't know. Call out to them? Such a tragedy. I'll call them. Isaac, Garrett. I understand what you're feeling. I felt it too. But standing here won't bring them back. Let's go back to Vault. We can rest there and think. Your family's safe, Felix. You don't have anything to worry about anymore. What am I supposed to do now? I'm all alone now. Oh, poor baby. You know what? I'm kind of curious. Does Shiva and Garrett get together and that's how they, and that's how, Matt, not Matthew, but whatever Garrett's son comes, his name comes along? I forget Garrett's son's name. That's how important he is to me. Oh, poor baby. Shiva, what's gotten into you? How could you say, so? I'll say that to Garrett. <laughs> I wonder. Shiva, Mia, you think this is funny? I've lost everyone, my whole family. Garrett, don't be so sad. I thought you might be a little more confident after all your adventures. <laughs> I gotta see my brother crying. 
So you made it back, Garrick. I knew it would uh, take more than this to beat you, son. Welcome home, Garrick. You look surprised to see us, Garrick. How did you survive? The wise one warned us of danger. He guided us here to safety. Everything was destroyed. Our homes, our town. But the wise one saved you all. I'm... I'm not alone. If you all made it out, did Dora as well? Yeah, she's hiding behind a tree. Dora. Mom. Welcome home, Kyle. Isaac. You survived. So did you. Aww. Such a happy family. They deserve this. They've waited so long for this. They deserve this. Also, Isaac is as tall as his father now. The end, chat. The official end. I'm curious as to why... They forced you to do clear data for this. There we go. Alright. Alright, chat. So, there you have it. That is Golden Sun, the Lost Age, in a nutshell. We managed to kill all the secret bosses. Um, or hidden, optional bosses, I should say. Um, collect all the goodies, all the Jenny, everything that you can think of. We have it. Um, so, it wasn't a complete 100% because we didn't get all the weapons and whatnot. But, ah, who cares about that? It will say it was a 